Welcome to Felix Creation. Hey Felixies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I know it's another doll video and this time it's a bottle doll. So let's get started. So over here as you can see I've taken this plastic water bottle and I'll just take off the cap and then these two are the cardboard, brown cardboard cutouts. So I'll just stick it with each other. Okay so once I'm done I'll be sticking this to the bottle and it will just give the support to the base of the bottle doll. So after taking this tiny bottle make sure you use this size only otherwise your doll shape of the body will be very awkward so once that is done now what I'll do is that I'll take the same brown cardboard and I'll cover it on top of the neck of the bottle and then I'll just use my hot glue gun and properly stick this once I'm done with that I'll just take the top half like this and then I'll just cut it from the sides so this is what it looks right now then I'll take the newspaper and I'll start folding it and then I'll stick it over here alright so once that is done as you can see this is how it looks I'll take this white paper into a triangle shape and then I'll just use my craft wire and stick it all over it So these are the three coilings which I made with craft wire inside it and then I'll take this white paper and I'll just apply this over here also in the middle and then I'll take this newspaper and crush it. And then I'll stick this with this coiling and ta-da this is what it looks right now guys. So this is the main head and the neck area. So this, these are the hands of course and it has craft wire inside so the hands are easily movable. Okay so now I'll stick it inside this part and I'll use my hot glue gun for that. Okay so once that is done now what I'll do is that I'll stick this neck also then the other hand as well so once the base is now done now I'll take my paper clay and I'll start applying it so I'm starting it from the face and then I'll go to the other body parts as well Okay, so now you have to smooth out the face. Just use your fingers and smooth it out. And then I'm using my tools just to give a little bit depth inside the eye area. And that's it. You don't have to make the mouth area. You just can use it by the paint. And for the eyes only, you have to make this little bit if you understand this part and then the nose as well with paper clay it's very easy you just have to make and then blend it with the face and of course I'm using my sculpting tools just for the help Alright so now the face is done now I'll also stick the ears and then let's start with the back side of the doll. And then on the hands as well. So 
so guys it's not necessary that you have to use paper clay on the bottle as well because obviously by the fabric it will always get hidden and you don't have to hide that part of the bottle so don't worry if you don't want to stick paper clay on that because i am also doing the same thing i'm just going it for the top half of the body and then leaving the rest part as it is So guys meanwhile I am doing this paper clay work I want to talk to you guys and I know my Funixies are very very supportive and so I am telling you all that I have launched a new channel of my own and on that channel there is something very amazing coming soon your way so I really want you guys to go and subscribe to that channel as well the link will be given down in the description box below and also I'm gonna post it on my community so you can go and check that channel out and first video of that channel is coming very very soon and guys my early subscribers will be benefited very soon on that channel so go and and subscribe to it so now you can see I've kept this doll for 24 hours or minimum 12 hours and it's nice and dried now now I'll start painting it so obviously I'll start painting the skin first so I'm using my acrylic paints as always because it is very shiny and I'll just paint the whole body with this So now when it's finally painted what I'll do is that I'll paint the head also and that I'll use dark brown shade. Once that is done now what I'll do is that I'll use this white acrylic paint and the black acrylic paint as well just to make the eyes over here. So now it's time for the lips and you have to be very careful so you have you can actually make this face look very very cute as well. Once that is done I'll take the silk thread and I'll just roll it on this cardboard and once it's nice and rolled I'll tie this and then I'll just make it a knot and then cut it out. So I'll cut it from the middle and this is how I make the hairs. Now you can go and check my other doll videos as well just to know how I make the hairs always. So once that is done I'll start sticking it on the head and this time I'm gonna make a messy hair bun. So I'll just use it to stick all over the head. So now I'll just twist it around and then make this bun and stick it. So this is what it looks right now. Now let's make the dress and of course I'm taking this very beautiful turquoise color. And I'll just cut this in this way so this will be the top blouse and this is the shape guys so once that is done you have to stick it over here on the body and this is how it will look then you can go and stick it on the back also but this time I'm gonna make it a fancy look so I'm making this top backless so you can also make this or you can just put another fabric on the back and cover the back but I'm gonna make this backless top and then this is the golden lace which I bought and I'll stick that also on the back and in the front as well now this is the thread that we used to tie the blouse so I made this with just normal thread and I'll stick it over here and after doing the other one as well you can just tie a bow over here and stick it so this is how it looks right now beautiful isn't it now let's make the top bottom part and that is the main lenga and that i'll do with this beautiful same colored fabric and it has sequins all over it and then i'll use this golden seam lace and stick it on the bottom side and then these are some golden leaves i'll just stick those also once that is done now let's make the base of the lenga and i'll just fold this fabric 
taking the measurements and I'll start sticking it. So you don't have to make this very flowy because it's just the inner part and you have to stick it on the bottle as well. Now let's make this ruffle because obviously it's a very flowy lenga and this is how it looks guys after sewing it completely. Now I'll tie this knot and this is how it looks. I'll just start covering the doll with this and then this is another very thick golden lace and these golden lace are very easy to find so you can use those and it gives you a complete fancy look and this is the jewelry i made with some sequins beads and some and some glitter paper so you can do that also then this is the you say it as a dupatta and this is what i'm making it's with the same fabric just the golden lace all over it and ta-da, this is the final look of the doll guys. I am really impressed and I love this doll. So, I think you guys also like this, right? If you did, may, please make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. And guys, you know right that I have launched a channel and you have to go and subscribe to that also because there... I'm going to get you all together and do a lot more interaction. So make sure you go and subscribe that. And till next time, bye-bye.